Welcome to the FFL and welcome back to All Pro Football 2K8 franchise here in Season 11. Now, as you saw, we ended on Week 5 of Season 11 and now we're here in the Championship game. This video will show you how we got here and also I'm going to be getting into into a second why this is a change. If you want to skip to the highlight portion, I'll be putting something up right here. I'm also going to add something for you to skip to the championship game, our revenge against the Pittsburgh medal. One of the closest games of all time, Dragons losing the championship last year to the medal in the final waning seconds with J.C. Riley at quarterback. But here, we're going to show you how we got here. But first, why? So mostly... um. After this game, it will be the last game of the Dragons, and not just that, but it will be the last game for Montana Young being the main character of the series. He left the Crusaders, and we started with him at the Wolves, and after seven seasons, I believe, we then went to the Dragons for three seasons. Season 8, Season 9, Season 10, season, four seasons. Now... Why? My thing is, Montana Young will still be in the league. And in the, this new series that's going to be coming out, it's going to fast forward a year. So you're not going to even see Season 11 off season. You're actually going to be see seeing uh, an update video of what happens in Season 12. And then you're going to see the off season for that. Real quick, I'm going to do like a quick update um, shot of all the season 11 changes that happen after this game but season 13 is where we're going to start the new series at but it will be labeled season one of the new and improved APF FFL series deal okay and the main reason is with Montana Young I play a certain way I build the teams the way I build them I want to get away from that and to change it up, I thought instead of being, you know, stuck in the West, stuck with the Dragons, Montana Young has a solid, like, spot here in San Francisco. It'd be dumb to leave. So, I'm going to be making a new character, and I'm going to be going on a new team, and there will be a video, uh... Showing what team I pick, how we're going to build a team, what changes and everything. That is all going to be later. This game is Season 11 Championship game starting, I believe, at 9 minutes into the video. But for right now, let's get into the highlight portion of the video so we can get into the championship game, which is also a very good game here against the medal. But first, we're going to open up with the Chicago Tigers. As we are at home, we see J.C. Riley running to the right side down the field. The Billy Williams getting tackled out of bounds by the Tigers. Now Riley, they're in deep for Shepard. Touchdown in overtime will finish the game for the Dragons. Winning 26-20, the Tigers almost snapped their uh, season streak here, being 10-0, but now their second game against the Gladiators. They are currently down by one point. Riley throws to the right side to Shepard. Shepard gets pushed out of bounds. They're near the red zone, though. Riley now in striking distance. He steps back under pressure, throws in between coverages to Oregon. Touchdown with only a minute to go. But as we see here, Nate Porter throws it to Hefner on that out route perfectly. And to finish the game, Nate Porter last second does it down the field to Jackson, who mosses Frank McBride. And it ends the game. The Dragons' first loss in a season and a half. And now against the Wolves in the first game of the playoffs, Stan Main bringing this Wolves team up by 10. Dragons are looking low here. Riley trying to scramble, make some time here. Throws it to Cooper. Touchdown, tying the game 13 to 13. 
Now Riley steps back, throws it down the field to Shepard. Shepard wide open on that fade route. Marion Ray could not get there in time. And now Billy Williams ends the game on a short hitch route. And we'll put it way out of play here with Shepard down the field against the Sailors. Touchdown! Ending the game. And now we're here with the championship game. The Dragons are on fire now as they destroyed the Sailors, who were one of the best teams in the league last game. Can the Dragons come up here against the medal? Only time will tell here in the championship game. They struck out last season, but can the Dragons and Montana Young end this series on a high note? As we look here, their best player on offense is Bryce O'Connell, and their best player in defense is Ty Banks. Don't forget about Banks being Iron Man playing both sides, though. And then on the Dragons, as you see here, they're, they have many great players, but Brandon Dorsey brings that pressure every game on every snap. It's going to be very interesting to see what San Francisco can do here. Last year, they couldn't really run the ball on the medal, but the medal have also lost a lot of big names on their defense due to retirements and due to trades and people opting out. The medal holds the record for the most championship games. Can the Dragons try to sneak one past them this season and show that they are the real deal? They've been trying to show that ever since they won the championship against the Firebirds who weren't supposed to even make it there. The medal win the toss and here we go. Dragons kick it downfield for the medal return the ball here. Kafers takes it out, takes it to the left side and is taken down by Abera at the 21 yard line. Now the medal get the start with their star Bryce O'Connell. O'Connell slips, he sits, and as he throws, he gets hit by Brandon Dorsey and Brock Majors. Both in the top five of sacks this season. Now Bryce O'Connell again in the pocket, throws it down the field, and that receiver gets absolutely jacked up there. The tight end for the medal, Carlin. Now Bryce again, third down to nine. He sets back, throws it to Carlin. It's almost picked off. It's going to be Dragon's ball. As we see here, the Dragons were able to stop them. And now they got good field position in this rainy game. They give it to Rich Lawrence up the middle of the field. He fights and gets taken down for a gain of three. Here in Texas, San Antonio. For this championship game this year. But it's rainy. And now Riley throws it down the field. And it's almost intercepted. Perfect coverage by the metal defense. Coming next season. They will be changing their name to the Dynasty. Due to their, all their championship wins. And now again. San Francisco runs the ball with Rich Lawrence. And he gets stopped yet again. This metal defense is tougher than the Dragons thought. Even though they lost a lot of big names, it does not matter. Now back on offense, the medal. Bryce O'Connell, one of the best passers in this league. Two-step drop, and as he throws, he gets hit. And luckily, it's not a fumble. Butler right there, and almost knocking the ball out of his hands. And now we're going to fast forward to third down and ten. O'Connell now surveys the defense. Throws over the middle of the field to Kafers, who reaches out for the first. He's been a star on this team ever since we started this series. This is the final game in Season 11 and the final game in the APF Franchise Series as Ty Banks gets the handoff down the field for a gain of seven. O'Connell now. Gives it to Ty Banks again, and he's almost impossible to tackle. He's a big, lumbering power back who does have the speed, and once he gets going, it's impossible to stop. He's a semi-truck at running back. Now O'Connell surveying the defense. Four-step drop. He throws the right side, and it's almost intercepted by Frank McBride being right there in coverage as we see this again. Perfect coverage by McBride. 
He's a defensive playmaker on this defense. He really deserves some more credit. Really boosting up the speed of play on this defense. Now, O'Connell pump fakes. He tries to run away from sacks, but Brandon Dorsey comes on through for another sack. And his second pressure of the game. Third down and 14. O'Connell in the rain. Five-step drop. He pump fakes as he throws. Brock Majors gets to him. It's going to be fourth down and 14. The game is still pointless. Can anyone score? Riley, who won MVP this year, gives the ball to Rich Lawrence up the middle of the field. He gets absolutely trucked by the safety, but it doesn't matter. It's still a gain of seven. Rich Lawrence has been a undervalued player, I would say, in this league, especially with San Francisco. Now, the Dragons give it to Rich Lawrence again, but he gets stopped by Campbell. It's going to be third down and three. The Metal have one of the best run defenses in the league. And now Riley steps back. He throws it down the field to Hunt. Hunt makes the catch and is tackled down, but it's the first. Hunt is one of the best slot receivers in the league. And he deserves more targets. And now Rich Lawrence gets the handoff yet again for a gain of three. San Francisco this year... Or is trying to get the running game started now Riley is scrambling down the field here to the right side and he gets tackled hit hard by number 23 but it does not matter Riley one of the biggest rushers in this league and now first down and 10 in the empty set he they like to do the direct snap to Riley here and they do he runs it to the right side he gets some space and Ty Banks is right there for the tackle Ty Banks won Defensive Player of the Year again for the fourth or fifth time. One of the best defensive players of all time in this league. Second down and four now. Riley steps back from pressure, throws it down the field to Bobo for the first. They're in the red zone. They're able to try to score now. Can they get the first score of the game? First down and ten. Riley sits in the pocket as he throws to Hunt. It's caught. Gain a seven on that short curl flat right there. And now second down and three here. Riley. Seven yards to go. He sits in the pocket. He throws it quickly to Hunt. He makes the catch. Jumped in front of that cornerback. And he has three catches for 22 yards. What an amazing man right there. They're in the red zone here as we look at Hunt yet again. Riley sitting in the pocket. He gets demolished by the metal defense. Everyone swarmed around him. Now Riley again. As he gets swarmed, throws it to Hunt. Yet again on the drive for the first score of the game. Dragons are going to be up by six here after failing the two-point conversion. Last year, they could not run the ball on the metal, and they didn't really want to. Now this year, they're really trying to set up their offense to win. Now Kafers gets the catch, but Sidney Foster is right there for the tackle. What a play by the future Hall of Famer, Sidney Foster. And now we're back again, second down and four. The metal needs something to go here. Can they get the first? O'Connell is under center. Future Hall of Fame at quarterback. Ty Banks cuts it to the outside. He's hard to tackle, but that's still a gain to make it third down and short. And that's going to finish the first quarter of the championship game. Dragons up 6-0. to zero. It's crazy to see them have a lead. Medal in possession. With Bryce O'Connell under center, one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Gives it to Ty Banks for the first. They call no huddle here. It's raining really bad now. Can the metal survive and not rust out? Now they give it to the tight end for another gain of four and another no huddle situation. O'Connell has one of the best arms, but he tosses it to Banks, who stiff arms. The safety, but it does not matter. Guzman right there with the tackle. 
third and four. O'Connell gets sacked. There we go with Brock Majors coming up through the middle with a big sack again on Bryce O'Connell. Now, J.C. Riley and the Dragons are back on offense. Riley quickly throws it to Lawrence out of the backfield, and he gets smacked by John Bowman. Aging free safety, but he came down and laid a big hit on the young power back. Riley now, he's surveying. He throws on the run to Hunt. Down the field, he's wide open to the 20, 15, and gets pushed out of bounds by Bowman. But it does not matter. They're in the red zone and looking to score again against the medal. Can Pittsburgh stop San Francisco in the red zone? And right there, Campbell comes up the middle of the field and almost makes a big sack on J.C. Riley. Under center now, Riley, as he's about to throw, gets sacked by Ty Banks coming through with a big sack. As we see here, Banks coming around the outside on that linebacker blitz. He plays on offense and on defense. What a big play. Almost could have been a face mask call, but it was not called there. Third down and 18. He steps back. Riley throws it deep to Oregon. It's almost picked off. The one big difference between last year and this year is the fact that the Dragons actually have a star receiver. And as the field goal is kicked, he slips. And the ball is short. It's going to be Dragons ball. Holcomb couldn't handle these rainy conditions. And now the medals start at their own 30. O'Connell now sits in the pocket, throws it quickly to Banks, who trucks over McBride, but gets pushed out of bounds. That's a four-yard gain. O'Connell, one of the smartest quarterbacks in the league, but he's starting to get a little mouthy to the press about his team not having him throw as much. Now Banks gives up the middle of the field. He is unstoppable on offense and defense as we watch it again. He just gets a big hole and no one can stop him. But anyway, O'Connell's always been quiet, but lately he's been very loud saying that he wants to throw the ball more and not focus on the run game as much. And now they give it to Banks up the right side and Banks is stopped for a loss. Especially if you look at the build of the metal, they are very defensive heavy compared to the offense that don't really have any star receivers. Now O'Connell sits in the pocket, throws over the middle of the field to Carlin, but it is dropped. At the last second, Guzman almost intercepts it. It's now third down and 12, and the Dragons tend to be very aggressive here. O'Connell now sits in the pocket as he throws. He throws it down due to the hit by Corey Hicks, the 20-year vet on that nickel blitz and it's gonna be dragon's ball with only five minutes to go in the first half of the championship game riley throws a deep to oregon splits the difference between the two dbs and that's a touchdown on that fade out ty palmer thought bowman was gonna be over the top bowman played down and palmer just got beat deep you see this again, Riley just throwing it in between them. Bowman just too aggressive, thinking Palmer had it, but Palmer could not get there. It is now 12 to 0, Dragons. And O'Connell throws it short today. But it does not matter, it's still a gain of six. Gene Day, in his day, was one of the best speedsters of all time, but now he's on the medal. Nearing the end of his career, and O'Connell changes the play at the line. What an amazing play, though, by Jaquan Oregon in his prime. But now down the field, Carlin makes this catch, and O'Connell just signified who was wide open and threw it so quickly to Carlin. O'Connell now again giving it to Ty Banks, who chucks over two defenders and then stiffs arms another for the first. Banks is one of the best, if not the best, power backs in the league. But as we've heard 
from the developmental league that here in this next off season and the off season after that we're gonna get even more big stars that's gonna be insane to watch here in the new series after this game is over O'Connell now gives it to Ty Banks up the middle of the field and he's tackled down below this is our last shot to win a championship with Montana Young. Can we do it? O'Connell's under center yet again. He's passing it now. Sits under center. Throws it left side to Kafers. He gets a good gain of about eight. They're in the red zone. O'Connell now getting pressure. He's trying to run. Throws on the run, but throws the ball away. This Dragons team is built on the fact that they can produce some pressure. And now the medal are forced to take a field goal here. Chip shot up the, down the middle of the uh, goalpost. It is now 12 to 3. Riley in the empty, or sorry, in the shotgun. Now getting the direct snap. Good play there for a gain of six. Riley again, he won MVP, giving it to Lawrence, and he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Riley again, third down and five, throws it down the field to Shepard for the first. Let's go Dragons. Big play by Shepard, but like I was saying, Riley has his best statistical season now. Play action, Riley is scrambling, there's a penalty, he sets his feet. He throws deep into triple coverage, and because of the rain, it is dropped. Looks like Ty Palmer maybe hurt his leg a little bit, but now it's going to be second down at 20 after that holding call. And it's a direct snap to Riley. He uses his speed and gets a gain of about seven. Now no huddle. Riley sitting in the pocket. Nope, he's scrambling, trying to find someone open, and he does. It's Daquan Oregon down the field. He was in Milwaukee for 10 years, and now he's with the Dragons, lighting it up with Montana Young and this pass-heavy offense here. They like to throw it deep, and nope, not going to be a big running play for Riley, and Riley almost throws a big bomb down the field to Billy Williams. See, As we see, Malik Cloud jumping up and knocking the ball out of bounds. Second down and 10. Riley now gets the snap. He's sitting in perfect pocket. Throws it deep and just barely overthrows Jaquan Oregon. Wide open down the field. And that's going to end the first half with the Dragons up 12-3. to Last year, they were getting destroyed by the medal. It looks, like, it looks like with the Mel trying to get a little younger, getting rid of some players, that they are down here. And as the Dragons get stronger, they're the number one team in the league. Now, if you want to help support the channel and support the cause, the Patreon link is in the description down below, and so is the Discord link. Also, you can become a player in any of my future drafts I have. I just finished Season 13 roster. But if you want to add your player to a team, put it in the comments down below or even go on my Discord. Also, there is going to be some big changes. And when I say that this is the last episode of the APF franchise series, it seriously is. This is the grand finale. We had to skip season 11 and I even have season 12 recorded. But it does not matter. This will be the last episode of this APF franchise. And then the next video will be with a new team, new character, two years in the future. And now here we go. First down in 10 with JC Riley under pressure in the year of revenge here in the game. Getting sacked by Campbell. Getting pressured here. And Riley just gets thrown down. He needs to be careful with that throwing shoulder. Riley now getting pressured again. He's scrambling like a madman. 
Metal trying to show some pressure here, and Riley carries a defender on his back for the first down. Now first down and 10. They give it to Dudley Bobo, who tries to juice, but gets stopped for a big loss by Ty Palmer. Second down, 13 now. Dragons have had an amazing season offensively with J.C. Riley. They give it to Bobo to the right side. He jukes but gets eliminated out of bounds right there. What a play by the medal. Third down to five. Riley now getting pressure. He's going to take it himself. He has some blocking down the field. And he gets hit but it's still a first. They're up by nine points here. Riley and the Dragons, can they get some revenge this season? This is the last chance for Young to get a championship with the Dragons here on the channel. And there we go with, if you look at J.C. Riley scrambling perfectly, throwing a dot to Jaquan Oregon, spinning off a defender, spinning again, and getting hit hard by the strong safety. Here we go now. First down and 10, Riley. Play action roll out here. He throws it down the field to Oregon for a gain of seven again. They call no huddle. This is the Montana Young special that a lot of teams start using. And Riley scrambled right into Campbell again with a big sack for a loss. Third down and ten. Riley sits in the pocket. He's trying to scramble. And guess who is? Guess who it is? with Campbell yet again and now it's Metal's ball in their own eight they got 92 yards to go they give it to Ty Banks he breaks the tackle on Nick McCarthy but finally Hicks catches him and brings him down for a gain of six Now Banks with the pitch. He breaks off one tackle with the arm, the stiff arm. He goes down the field to the 40, the 30. No, can the Dragons stop him? McBride pushes him out of bounds at the six yard line. Banks already has 123 yards in this game. And now they're in the red zone here. First down and goal for the medal. O'Connell gives a draw play to the backup, but it doesn't matter. He stopped at the goal line. Again, O'Connell sits in the pocket. That's down the field for the touchdown to Gene Day. He gets another playoff touchdown for his career, but there he goes. The game is close now, only up by two. Can San Fran do some here? They give it to Rich Orange, who lowers his shoulder, but so did the safety. Orange does it again, but gets the first. And now Riley sits in the pocket here. He slings it deep. Ty Palmer jumps up and intercepts the ball. And he gets up. He takes it to the 50 and gets taken down by Wright. Oh my goodness, Riley, I don't know what he was thinking, but right there, Ty Palmer was able to keep stride for stride and intercepted the pass. First down and 10 now for the medal. They have a chance. Can they try to shut out the rest of this game and get San Fran to lose two years in a row to them? O'Connell now again steps back. Two step drop gives it to Ty Banks out of the back. He breaks one tackle. And luckily, Dragons are able to hit him out of bounds just barely. If not, that would have been a touchdown. As O'Connell rushes back to the line, first down and 10 for Pittsburgh. O'Connell now trying to run away from pressure. He gets hit hard by Brock Majors, but there is a penalty on the field. It is declined. Second down and 10 now. O'Connell gives it to Ty Banks. He cuts it up to the left side and gains a good gain of six. O'Connell is not happy 
with the play calling here with them trying to run the ball on this good defense. Now, Ty Banks does have a lot of rushing yards, but they really do need to start passing here to try to get some points on the board quickly. Now, again, he does pass it, but Kafers drops the ball in traffic there in the rain. As we see this again, O'Connell sets up, throws it quickly as he gets hit, and Kafers drops it. Now, a big difference with this year than last year was last year the Dragons, even though they have good pass rush, couldn't get through that O-line. And this year, it seems like the Metal just don't know what to do here with the ball being kicked up in the air, and that is good. The Metal do have the lead, but for how long, that is the question. Down by one, San Fran trying to get back in the seat here. And almost, J.C. Riley throwing a direct pass to the linebacker there, Haran. Now it's second down and ten. Riley now, six-step drop back, and he pump fakes, but then takes it up the field himself. He gets pushed out of bounds at the 45. What a play by Riley. That quick little pump fake allowed him to go. Now it's first down and 10. They give the ball to Rich Lawrence. He powers his way through to midfield here. Number 42 here. Doing really well for himself in San Fran. But that's going to end the third quarter with the Dragons. Starting to look bleak here with only down by one. They give it to Lawrence again. He powers his way through and gets laid out by John Bowman. As he was pushing one guy down, Lawrence just gets obliterated right there. Wow, what a big hit by Bowman. You can almost see him th fly through the air as he hits him. Now Lawrence spins here. You never see him do that. And Ty Palmer is able to push him off balance and down. First down 10 Riley now. Gonna take it himself, but he only gets a gain of four with his own legs, and they call no huddle. Montana Young brought in the no huddle offense for the Wolves years ago, and he still runs it from time to time. Now Riley gives it himself and goes for the first. Lucky number seven, trying to get revenge on Pittsburgh. Riley now gives it to Lawrence who tries to get somewhere but he's stopped for a gain of two. Second down and eight. Riley steps back. He throws it deep to Shepard. It's in. No, it's not. Oh, what a throw. But Shepard just couldn't get his feet in. Is perfectly thrown in everything. Now Riley again. He's scrambling. He's finding some holes. But he gets sacked at the very last moment by Rashad Ford. Pass rush specialist right there off that left side. Now Riley trying to scramble again. He finds Billy Williams open for the touchdown. Billy Williams from the discord make another one of his big plays. He never gets a lot of catches. He never gets a lot of yards. But he makes big plays like that when it matters. McCollum now throws in a perfect pocket. And Nick McCarthy comes out of nowhere and just knocks the ball down. But still, what a big play by Billy Williams for the Dragons. Now they're up by six. O'Connell now tosses it to Banks and Brandon Dorsey. Haven't said his name all game so far. Plays a big hit on the all-pro Ty Banks. O'Connell now. Seven-step drop. He spins away from pressure. But there it is. Brock Majors destroying up front as he's known to do. He was in the top five of sacks this season with Brandon Dorsey. This all-new uh, told uh, Dean line that Montana Young built this pass off season. Riley now 
sits in the pocket as he keeps walking back and it's almost intercepted what a bad throw for San Fran right there. That could have been the game ender right there. Now Riley trying to scramble. He finds Hunt wide open. Let's go, Dragons. Let's go. Down the sideline right there. Bowman was there, but Hunt beat him to the sideline. And with Riley's arm, that's going to be hard to get to. Now it's first down and 10. San Francisco. Trying to get some to go here near the red zone. Riley throws off his back foot across his body, across the field, and the ball just can't get there. But if it did, that would have been a first. Now Riley again. He's scrambling, and he's taking it himself, and he falls forward for a gain of nine. Riley was an undrafted free agent quarterback last year, and he's really shown how great of a quarterback he can be as an offensive playmaker, which is perfect for Montana Young. Now Riley sits in the pocket here. He dodges Rashad Ford. He takes it himself. He falls forward again. He's in the red zone. Only 11 yards to go for another touchdown. First and ten. Riley now. Perfect pocket. He gets some pressure. He's taking himself. There's no one there. He dives. Touchdown! With four minutes to go, that will end the game. Dragons win another championship with Montana Young. They re got some revenge for last season. And it looks like Dragons are a solid, solid dynasty here with Montana Young and San Fran. This is going to finish the series off the way we wanted to, beating the Pittsburgh for a FFL championship. If you enjoy this video, if you enjoyed the series, leave a like and subscribe, comment down below, and see you guys next time for the new APF series where I'm going to go through and update you on what's going on with the universe. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you for all the love and support on the videos. Peace.